Yo, what is up guys? Gribzy DTD here bringing you guys a brand new video and today I'd like to talk about robbers and thieves. Now recently within these past two weeks we've actually there was something on the news that was saying that there are these robbers and that we should be locking our house. And I swear to god yesterday, not realizing it, they actually could have been at my house because my dog just started going off and like right now they're located about five to ten miles away from my house. Doesn't mean that they'll obviously come to where I live, but it's more of the fact that like what the hell, they're still around here and they haven't been arrested. I mean they've been out here for about four weeks. Maybe a little longer, no one's caught them yet, so I'm actually a little worried. That's like really scary because I have to lock my door now and like I shouldn't have to do that. Like we never lock our door. It doesn't matter if any of you guys hear that because you know what, we don't have robbers over here. So that's really a good thing. I'm happy. But we also do have a dog that could be really vicious and scary, so I mean that's why we've never really had the need to lock the doors in the middle of the day. So that's basically robbers and thieves story. I mean they've been actually going into people's houses, like when they're even there. They knock on people's doors trying to sell them fake stuff that will never come. They get the money and then they go in their house and try to steal everything they can and run and they still have not been caught. Like how has this not been how have they not been caught? That's more of the fact. How have they not been caught? If you guys know anything that anyone that lives in my area at least, you guys know a little bit more I'd like to know a little bit more about them because that is a really freaking scary thought and I don't really want to have to worry about that. I'm not really scared but for the fact that I'm gonna have to I'm home by myself for the next six months, like till five at three to five, so they could be coming around anytime this hour or something. Because yesterday, I swear to God, my dog was like really pissed or like really scared. Like he was not his normal self. His barking, there's a huge difference between his little yelp, if he likes you, and a vicious bark. And he was just giving all signs of a vicious bark, and that's really something scary. I don't like that. But also, I'm gonna tie in a little bit different of a story with this. I know it's definitely not gonna go with this title, but I thought since I still have a couple minutes more to even make this video, I like to talk about something that happened about maybe five, six years ago. And this was when I first got my dog, Micah. He's a yellow lab for you that guys that don't know. And you guys don't know what he looks like completely, you know, always go on my Instagram. Follow me at jgerbs if you guys would like. It's your choice. I would hope you guys would. And I would be very supportive if you guys obviously would. I would take that any day. But basically, I... My sister's ex-boyfriend, oh my god, sorry for that long, sorry. Her ex-boyfriend uh, was basically one of the trainers at the time, like helping us train the dog because he just had so much labs in his life and he knew how to train the dogs. And he was just roughhousing with Micah and he was probably about 8 to maybe 10 months old at this time when he was training him. I mean, it's still young enough, like, it's really hard to get past that age to start training him and it's pathetic. But to the point where when he was roughhousing him with him, he ended up just going away for 10 minutes and then when he was laying on the ground with my sister just doing homework and he was just on his back talking my freaking dog went over there and literally his nutsack passed his mouth and now we consider him anal raper it's it's really funny though it like it was like a legit tea bag and it falls across his mouth like that's disgusting and I'm really sorry I don't have much stories for today because I, I actually I could add a little bit more to this now I realize it once again. So I did get news about the competition that I should be entering, which it's positive I probably will be going for sure now. The only thing is I ended up switching on what I'm going to do because I want to make sure that there's other people that are better than me in my class. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not the only good person in my class that has a, on high honor. There's two other kids. And there's one kid in the morning class because I don't go to morning. I'm a PM student. And basically, he wanted to go in again and he actually knows what to do. So he's going to basically help our teacher win another trophy. And then the other two kids are really good at soldering. And then we have this nerd that we go, huh, nerd. And if you guys want, you guys can use that for uh, fine. But anyway, I ended up switching it to computers. So I might be actually learning how to build a computer. That might be really interesting. The fact is though I have no clue how to even build a computer it's gonna be really tough I have no idea but it's fun gonna have the nerds help uh, nerd <laughs> I had to do that I'm sorry if you guys like today's video please like comment subscribe peace